Welcome to first grade. I just wanted to give you a little tour of our classroom. Um, hopefully I won't make you too bit dizzy moving around with the camera. But um, our classroom has our student desks. Of course, they are all separated um, by at least six feet. Um, we occasionally have mats where we can sit on the floor next to our desk just to change it up a little bit and give everybody some space. Um, we do have student cubbies. We have one set over here and another set. I'm going to try to move slowly here. Another set on this side of the room. Um, so that way I can send students one or two at a time to their cubbies and they won't be too close to each other. So they do have a space for their backpacks, their lunch boxes, their coats, whatever else they need to bring with them. Um, inside each student desk, they do have their own uh, reading textbook, handwriting workbook, reading workbook, journal. Um, we also have another blue notebook that we do some word work in. Um, we do keep papers in there occasionally that aren't finished. They each have a mat um, inside their desk that they can use to sit on the floor when we want it to stretch or move around a little bit. Uh, we do have in the front of the room a smart board. Uh, it is interactive so students can come up and help us um, solve problems or participate in some different learning activities. We also have two student desktop computers that students can work on and we have five iPads in the classroom so I can have students at their desk um, working on an iPad um, or on the floor working on an iPad at times. We do have our own bathroom in our classroom, which is very fortunate, so I don't have to send students out into the hallway by themselves, um, so we can take turns using the bathroom. Um, we do have hand sanitizer, we have soap, we have disinfecting wipes, so we are very aware of all of those things. Um, in our classroom, we like to do lots of hands-on activities, so I use things like sand trays, foam, magnet boards, um, different letters, things like that, an interactive word wall, so that students are active and engaged in their learning during the day. They're not just being talked to, but they are um, doing some activities to help them remember what we are learning. Uh, I do try to use pictures and hang up student work during the school year so that students feel like they are a big part of our classroom. Um, so you may hear them talk about some different things that are hanging up in the classroom. Okay, so hopefully um, you have a little bit of a better idea of what school is like for your first grader by taking a look at their classroom. Um, and if you ever have any questions for me, you can always write me a note or email me during the school day.